We got baited. We got baited. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I know, I know Mexican does have a Mac. It's, it's something. Do you, do you hear about the Mac stuff that's going on in North Cal? Oh my God. <laughs> it's so bad. All right. Uh, but Dark Pit is going to be the choice for Kira. Mm -hmm. He did talk about it. He made a guide, actually. Right. He on his Twitter talking about the strength of Finn and what exactly we need to do. But game number one with these two characters, and we're seeing a lot of Ikes, actually. I mean, Ike is one of those characters where, like, at the mid-tier level, like, he's a really, really good character. Solid. It's a solid character. But Kira Thomas tries to go for a move at home, but doesn't get anything, actually. The action was able to go on the profit too in the same situation, but a very big commitment from Mexican going for a high recovery that close to the legend. Kira Flax, quick on the chase, trying to call out something. Mexican soon left that ledge for dear life and gets the grab finally into a little bit of conversion, 44%. Remember, Ike, he may not be played quite a lot as much, but he still hits like a truck. Okay. And here we go, quick arrow, no. Knocks him out, but still has a double jump, so he was able to still use the side B to recover. And I love that, using the side B to get a very aggressive recovery, because you know that Pit wants to get that low recovery. And look at that, Kira Flax multi-jumping the shark hops with his back turn. The Mexican is forced to really... Maybe just dash back and forth trying to get him with the yeah. Oh, he's Ooh. dead for it, though! Yeah. Yo, you know, I, he's on back on him right now. Yeah. Yo, Mexican, hey, chill. You got one stock. Yeah. You, you still got to take at least two more if you want to win the game. Uh, uh, look, can you just run up and do nothing? I mean, it's that no mix-up mix-up. Uh, it doesn't work out for him. He's going to hit with the air rose. Oh, the air that's dodge. it. Oh, no. He was able to air dodge, so he was able just to get enough horizontal momentum to make it back to stage and a quick side beat to you know, catch Kiraflex off guard. No, 170%. Oh, he's back. Right. In the armor. Back again, Kiraflax trying to get that ankle down, but unable to buy anything. Right. Oh, oh my no. god, Kiraflax uh -oh. kind of just doing some questionable options right there. Right. Lands the fourth throw, arrow doesn't find its mark, but he's got him trapped in this corner. Yeah, Ooh, that should be a quick yep. finish. And he's dead for that one, but thankfully for Kiraflax, barely took any damage. In that and gets a quick grab and an up tilt. That's a new combo I haven't seen. Usually they like to go for Nair to get Nair trains. Or they actually like to go for the, the sour spot of the down air mm. to go for a conversion. Right. You know, thanks to Kira for posting that guy. That's why I know all that kind of stuff. But this movement, the footsie's coming for both of them. I mean, it's a little bit of BM for both sides. Mm. Yeah, it's a fun bracket after all. But oh, yeah. The Nair calling it out. Oh, but unfortunately, just going to push him off the ledge with the grab. Just running away from these attacks, knowing that Pit, they're kind of spaced out, but he got a lot of dead zone for their hitboxes. Oh, yeah. There you go, an arrow to catch the landing, gets the grab into the back air. Uh, Mexican, he's uh, he's just kind of walking up and doing nothing a lot. Right. Not too good, especially against Kara. He's calling out every single one. He's got him trapped in this ledge for how long? Doesn't get the grab down, but he's back on the... How long have we been here? I mean... It, it feels like almost an eternity because it feels like a lot of just empty moves are being thrown out where like neither player really expects the move to hit. They just want to control space. And then, you know, it, eventually like something connects and then something happens for like a little bit. And then they go back. And then they go back to like doing it, nothing. But finally oh. getting, sneaking in a back air. Finally takes a stock and he calls it out knowing he's going to go for a short hop or a top hop. Why deal with it when you just stuff it out with your great Nair himself and Kira? Only at 88%, he is uh, maybe he's one, two more conversions away from dying, but from Mexican's yeah. movement, I don't think he's getting that anytime soon. Yeah, I feel like Kiraflex is starting to catch on to Mexican's movement a little bit. He knows that, like, okay, he likes to, like, empty empty jump, you know, or, like, empty run at me, so I'm going to throw out a dash attack when I see him running at me. Yeah, like that, like right. you said earlier, that was the empty run. So yeah, empty run, and then, like, okay, like, now he's going to try to do something. And like that, he, he called nice out the jump case. right there, got the nair. And it's also, you just know that Ike doesn't get, doesn't have a kill for me. Oh, yeah. So he's willing to take these grabs, gets the upbeat, plenty of damage down, 137% for him. But Ike, there we go, gets the up tilt. Right. But 78% Kira, I don't know, it's his game to lose. Oh, yeah. I mean, to be completely fair, Ike has some really, really strong kill power. So, you know what, if, if he can get a, a string going, get him up to, like, maybe, like, 60% okay. and get, like, a solid smash attack read, 
careful. He's playing patient. Yeah. Kind of spaced out. He does not afraid to be in the corner, but Mexican, once again with those empty runs, it's costing him percent stage control. Yeah. I feel like where Kiriflex has been getting most of his damage is calling out the jumps and getting in there and just kind of just stuff it out. But yeah, try going, yep, yeah, try going in for the edge guard. Kiriflex sneaking in right in below him and getting a back air. I mean, also the thing is, Kira's perfectly fine playing the patient. That's, that's what he's known for. He plays right. really patient on the Rob, on the pit. So when you're letting him play at the pace that he wants you to, right. it doesn't really spell too well, and that's exactly what happened. Like, Mexican struggling to get anything done. Oh, yeah. I mean, Mexican was putting in work here and there, but it just he wasn't able to play, like, the Ike game where, like, I want to spam there. there yeah. yeah. And Kiraflax is... Signing between the two pits, you know, you have arrows being a big factor. You have, like, pits arrows are stronger. And axle recovery is, like, linear enough where you don't need the mobility of the regular pits arrow. And he hasn't been relying too much on the arrows, too. It's just the fact that he's catching Mexicans, like, movement itself. And, like, he knows he's going to do a tech roll back every right. single time. And he's catching it out with these arrows, spacing it out. And once he gets in there, he gets nothing off it because Kira is just quick on the draw with his buttons. Oh, Mexican there going in go. above him, yep. Yeah. You know, it's like, okay, Kiriflex is pressing a lot of buttons right here. Let me just come in above him to avoid it. Here comes, the, here comes the movement that we're so familiar with, but really benefits from it. Kiriflex not playing the patient game. Happily being in the corner and the dash attack, such a good get out of chill free card. If you're not holding that shield down, Mexican really struggling. And now Kira, opting Ooh. to pelt him with projectiles, gets the first one snuffed out, but Mexican. He is struggling to even get on center stage. And here we go. Electroshock not going to be able to get anything off of it. And, you know, I feel like Mexican just hasn't been able to get any solid combos. What combos? Yeah. He, 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 got, he got one combo, a two-hit combo. Oh, another two-hit. Oh. That's and, the one-two punch. Yep, the one-two punch. And then the next one-two punch is going to kill because it's going to be Nair to up there. More Nair to back there, but... Electroshock to get him out of that corner. Great carry for Mexican. This is what he's catching him on. When they're both running at each other, Kiraflex right. knows he's not pushing anything, so he just oh, yeah. free. But great kill from Mexican taking the stock. But and you can tell that Kiraflex is just like, okay, I'm not playing patient enough because I just died the four tilt. So I need to like slow things down. Bro. And yeah, and I love that he just waited. He waited for him to press a button, and I feel like Kiraflex. Kiraflax, when he's in the zone, is like the king of patience. I know, but he's got to be careful because I have a rage of scary. Right. But no rage needed if you just take the stock just like that. Gets away with it in that air. Commands so much space. You know, it's not good as Palu, but it does do with the jump. Oh, oh, my God. That – I feel like the last hit of the rapid jab – it pushed him away. Pushed him, yeah, it, it, he leaned into that move, and I was just like, Ugh, I, I, wh I whipped your feet. And that down smash doesn't have too much range either. Yeah. It's strong. But the range is yeah. lacking. And here we go. Back to this patient play from both of them with these arrows calling out. Great job by Mexican, though, doing a hop to get over the aerial, but a bit of shield. All right, here we go. Trying to catch the landing, but it retreats to ledge instead. Let's drop what you wanted. Kira, there we go. All right. Mexicans. Right. We're starting to see Mexican yeah. play a little bit more grounded because every time he kind of jumps in the air, he gets stuffed out by the Nair. And, Yo. Oh, <laughs> the, 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 I'm going to the running at you slowly, the, the Friday the 13th uh, horror chase scene right there. God. Like, I'm going to catch. Oh, my God. And he pressed the button. He's hoping that Kira Flax flinches first, and Kira Flax isn't going to, but quick back at? air. Yeah. Like Steel TV. Yo, what are they? They're just both like, they're both like sometimes not pressing buttons when yeah. they really should. Yeah. I mean, they're they're playing like 4D chess in their minds. Yeah, 4D chess maybe with some missing pieces too. <laughs> like, it's just like, here, here, you want to move that pawn right. forward? Nope. It's like in their minds, they they have like this anime oh, oh! Ooh, that was a oh nasty spike. But, like, it feels like sometimes, like, in their minds, they have that anime, like, protagonist, like, I'm, here's what I'm planning on doing, and they go on a monologue. 
feels like they're having that like in their minds sometimes. Oh my god. Hey, you get hey, that Joker out, out of here. here. Joker mid tier. Joker mid tier Joker, after the buffs Joker or the nerfs. Yeah. How, how could Jokers ever survive with not being able to hit downward guns and losing our send a little bit quicker? Oh no, they fixed the hitbox so it's accurate to his guns. Yeah. Here, a turn up the heat. That's 22% for his doubles and dash grab. There we go. That's the spot that we've been looking for. Remember, right. he can snuff up all the options possible, but spacing out with that bear and very high recovery from Mexican, but he is eating the damage right now. And all this damage coming from the rapid jab because he got pushed into the ledge. Oh, and I, and I like that, using the air dodge to, you know, kind of like Jigglypuff, like using the air dodge as like a pseudo like third jump to get to the ledge. Yeah, just call it out, but 135, and it's been 40 seconds. The fourth throw should kill? No. No. Uh, Ike's a little heavier than that. Dash tag, and you know, Ike has just been super heavy, so he's just been living for like 150, 200 percent. Oh, oh get the drag down. that that was cute. I didn't know that like you could like drag down up there like that, but not gonna get anything off of it because he tried going really greedy with that up smash. Playing safe. I like these double jumps from Mexican. Yeah. Trying to call an option from there, but the nair snuffs out. Option number one. Here it's recovering high. Gets Ooh. called down with the instantly throw. Kira flex with a huge lead. Up tilt to Nair, oh and now he's off stage. Not going to be able to find the recovery option, but now he, he he doesn't really have to worry about Mexican like too much now because he doesn't have that incredible amount of rage. But all he needs is just a solid like Nair Nair to up air. He's using the silver bow over and over again. Sweeps him up with that board here. Clips him for a little more. The electric shock to recover, but the armor gets him right through it. Now Kira trying to do his best to space it out. The up tilt catches him, but not going to take him just yet. Mexican trying to catch him with something. A lot of empty hops and trying to use the F tilt to catch something down. Missed opportunity once more. Gets away from the Nair. Oh my god, what is this scramble coming in from both players? I feel like Mex I feel like both players are looking for the, the spot dodge. They're looking for that spot dodge and they're not pressing a button until they see it. Uh, but there you go. Right. Having the stock advantage, you have more confidence as well. And right. also not with that back here. Oh, and, and there's and the double guard. jump. Yep. yep. It's just that right. all of his movement options, like they're slick, you're behind. You're forced to make a choice. Yeah. You know, when I mean, Cure Flax is in the lead like this, he realizes, like, okay, I don't have to call out everything at this point. That's like, like I, I throw out all those back airs, kill all your demons in the in their imaginary space. I'm going to be over here in my personal bubble. Cure knows it. He's just playing yeah. safe. He's made out an option. Right. And when Mexican overcommits for something, Gets called out. Final hands to grab, but what can that get you except run for a potential edge guard situation? But the electro shot once again. And here we go. I, a random up B. I, I feel like Mexican is lost. He is lost in this matchup, and he just he doesn't know what to do because every button he feels like he's pressing is just the wrong button. And it's just here, two stocks ahead, yeah. calling out all the options. And should be able to get try to get the edge guard right now, dashing back and forth in the air. Clips him out once more. Gets the air dodge back on the stage in the right side, side special, but I mean if he gets yeah, if he gets the grab, that, he can yeah. probably go for the down throw and maybe the down throw will kill him. Yo, hit him with the silver bow. And oh, but yep. Yeah, finally, finally, finally managed to find the kill at like 170%. But Seems you too know, little too late at this point. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if he gets an insane like down air spike, then like there's there's hope. Yeah, but not here. Yeah. Here's playing super safe. Using all the safe options. See, like that. Couldn't even get it. Gets away with that arm. Yo, the Kira, Kira pop off. Yep. Kira realizing that it's just like, okay. I could have easily lost that match. But then I, I pulled my stuff together. I went like, OK, 